It's 4 p.m. on the eve of Chinese New Year, and the 2012 CCTV Spring Festival Gala is about to begin. For the crew that's been working on preparation for the last six months, this moment has special significance. It's the final countdown to the live broadcast of the CCTV Spring Festival Gala for the Year of the Dragon. Among the many similar large audience CCTV shows, the CCTV Spring Festival Gala requires the longest preparation, involves the most outside organizations, and features the most performers. Because the show is broadcast live, all the people involved in producing the program must ensure that there are no mistakes. <laughs> After repeated dress rehearsals and combined rehearsals, every detail of the show has been checked. As the last few minutes and seconds tick away, the entire crew becomes excited and nervous. The performers are making final preparations. Both familiar stars and new faces have gone through several levels of selection and many reviews to get to this moment. Almost everyone in the home audience considers the people in the live audience very lucky to be so close to the stage. As the audience files in, the directors are engaged in final communications with the presenters. Ha Wen, head director, has taken her place in the control room. The broadcast will begin shortly. They've been working nearly 200 days and nights for this. Everyone is waiting, waiting for the year of the Dragon Special to at last begin. The studio is ready to go, including stage sets, lighting, video and audio. CCTV Studio One is looking its best and quietly waiting for its biggest moment of the year. With a floor space of 2,000 square meters, this used to be the country's largest television studio. The CCTV Spring Festival Gala has been held here every year since its inauguration in 1998. This studio has become the focus for Chinese people in China and abroad, as well as a favored venue for all types of artists. Stage design for this year's show employs the latest in technology and craft to create a brilliant spectacle. Through the replay, we can appreciate all the fantastic changes made to the studio. This four-month process began on September the 20th, 2011, in preparation for the 2012 CCTV Spring Festival Gala. In the rapidly changing city next to the bustling 4th Ring Road, this building does not normally attract much attention. When the staff of this hotel once again see the familiar faces of stars coming here in late summer and early autumn, they know that preparations for the next CCTV Spring Festival Gala have begun.
On July the 26th, 2011, the crew moves into the CCTV hotel to quietly begin preparations for the 2012 show. In the face of all the coming challenges, the young crew feels inspired and excited. These young people who grew up watching the CCTV Spring Festival Gala comprise the core of the development team for the 2012 show. None of them has ever participated in the show before. What kind of program will this team develop in six months' time? The whole country wants to know. Ha Wen and the other directors visit the suburbs of Beijing to listen to the general public's suggestions for the show. These rural residents have been faithfully watching the CCTV Spring Festival Gala every year for decades. They're excited because this is the first time that they have felt that they could somehow participate in the program. This is the eighth forum of its kind. The voices of people of all ages and walks of life have been compiled into a report reflecting the true feelings of the public towards the program. With the input of the general public, the basic framework for the 2012 show is taking shape. Now, the first problem facing the directors is how to start off the show. The beginning is crucial since it sets the tone for the entire program. Beginning in 1984, every opening act of the CCTV Spring Festival Gala has been a song and dance routine, presenting a grand, joyous and enthusiastic spectacle. This reflects the hope and feelings of the Chinese people in pursuing a better life. This year, the directors want to take a different approach for an entirely new opening. The opening of the show will focus on a single performer. This is a freewheeling, bold new approach to the opening that has never been tried before. What kind of child will ensure the success of this unique opening? A five-year-old in the 2011 finals of the I Want to Be in the CCTV Spring Festival Gala caught the eye of the directors. He was called Little Dung.
for the opening, Little Dung would enter carrying a lantern and reciting a child's verse. He would go to the middle of the stage and light all the lanterns. He would only be required to recite for 35 seconds as he walked less than 10 meters, but asking a five-year-old to go to the correct spot is not as easy as it sounds. For these 35 seconds, his grandfather worked with Little Dung for a whole month. In the end, Little Dung became the opening act. years ago, the opening act for the 1983 program was a single performer. After introductory remarks from the presenter, Li Gui Yi sang Chinese New Year song. Because the studio was so small, the audience was very close to the stage, but this also gave the audience a strong feeling of intimacy with the performances. The lyrics are simple and express pure and sincere emotion. This feeling was the objective of that CCTV show and it's remained so ever since. Everything was changing in the China of 1983. The lyrics of that song accurately reflect the people's anticipation and hope for a better life and a common prosperity. The 大家的任务在在这个春节晚会的时候拜年的时候也不要忘记实现四化。Li Goi Yi still keeps the blouse that she wore 30 years ago in the program. It was made of Dacron, a synthetic fiber that became fashionable soon after the introduction of the reform and opening up policy. was an era of ideals and enthusiasm as people experienced more and more changes in their lives. Everyone was anticipating a better life and seeking new experiences, enjoying culture and generating a strong demand in society. At the end of 1982, CCTV decided to hold a special variety program on the eve of Chinese New Year. This is a photo that obviously reflects the spirit of the times. Huang Yi He, who was 48 at the time and CCTV Arts Department Director, was the head director for the 1983 show. His friend, Yang Yong, worked on development of the show. Because they were developing the first CCTV Spring Festival Gala, they had different expectations in mind for the show. We Chinese 
饺子吃，年年有春节晚会看。摇摇东西。This photo album contains a marriage certificate that documents an incident from 30 years ago. 我们是一九八三年一月二十三号结的婚，当时我是二十四岁，他是二十八岁。Twenty days later, the couple watched the 1983 CCTV Spring Festival Gala on a nine-inch black and white TV. They spent their first Chinese New Year together, enjoying the music and laughter of that show. Each year, can meet so many countries' famous actors, singers, and also the singers. The music is so nice. 看着心里边是特别舒服，再一看我周围的人，大家都是喜笑颜开，这时候呢，我就琢磨着，这国家要发生变化了，我们老百姓这日子可能会一天一天好起来，我也在想着自己将来要干啥。嗯Luoyang is famous for pianists. Today, Jiang Songfeng is famous in Luoyang for his pianists. The good life for him began 30 years ago with a yearning sparked by that CCTV Spring Festival gala. As everyone was trying to guess who would be presenting the 2012 CCTV show, the presenters were holding their first rehearsal. Sometimes people pay even more attention to the presenters than they do the stars. In 2012, a group of new faces, including Bi Fu Jian, Li Si Si, and Sa Bei Ning, graced the CCTV Spring Festival Gala and thrilled the audience. This was the first time that actual presenters played a part in a Chinese TV variety show. In the 1983 CCTV show, four actors were the hosts, as this was the first time the presenters made a joke about it. The appearance of presenters in the first CCTV Spring Festival Gala generated unprecedented excitement. The presenters were greeted with enthusiastic applause from the studio audience. This is a special Chinese New Year's Eve. The joy and wishes from the CCTV show is reaching millions of homes through their TV sets. It was common at the time for several families to gather in one home to watch the program. The live coverage of the 1983 show began at 8 p.m. The 20-plus acts of the evening created an unusually festive atmosphere for the audience of 30 years ago. Because the program was live with a raucous atmosphere and lots of interaction, it gave the national TV audience for the first time the feeling of being together in seeing out the old and bringing in the new. In 
它就是一个公共话语的平台。第二个呢，一开始他就非常关注到观众的现场和即时的互动。应该讲，最早的春晚的舞台不丰富，但是最先开始的春晚的手段，其实我们到今天还在用。This clip was filmed ahead of time at the Tanjiu Temple, around 30 kilometers from Beijing. At midnight on the eve of Chinese New Year 1983, the CCTV Spring Festival Gala used the sound of the temple's bell to welcome in the new year and to announce to everyone the coming of spring. 好像迎来了他自己的春天，让大家都走到了舞台前面，尽量的把自己的这种才艺能够展现出来，不是一两个人的想法，可能是整个文化艺术界的，从老前辈到我们年轻人，甚至到观众和社会，都有这种强烈的这种期望和需求啊。This building behind the Beijing Chang'an department store is the former site of Branch 86 of the Number 8 Telephone Bureau. Thirty years ago, this was the telephone communications hub for the Western District of Beijing. It's almost as if time has gone back to that lively scene 30 years ago in this room full of telephone lines and communications equipment. Zhou Aifeng, now 73, was equipment room supervisor in Branch 86. Seeing all this familiar equipment again brings back memories of the evening of February the 12th, 1983. Telephone switchboards were mostly manual at the time. That night, there were calls coming in from all over the country, nearly swamping the equipment. All of these lines were connected to the same place, the scene of the CCTV Spring Festival Gala. This four phone number is 867025. The four telephones at the site of the 1983 CCTV Spring Festival Gala made this program different from others. Televisions were just becoming widespread in China, so to attract the television audience, CCTV decided to take live telephone calls on the show. This allowed the audience at home to directly make requests and to participate in the games. Behind the lively scene of the show was the enthusiasm and anticipation of the audience. These lines once connected the audience and the scene of the show. To this day, you can still feel the enthusiastic response of the people to that CCTV Spring Festival Gala. Broadcasting the 1983 CCTV Spring Festival Gala live with presenters interacting with the audience was a totally new phenomenon in China. Therefore, this show is called the first CCTV Spring Festival Gala. The format of the show has been followed as an example ever since. Over the next 30 years, the show has become an important part of the culture of Chinese New Year in China. This year, some members of the public also appeared in the show, bringing the audience a brand new experience.
The winter solstice of 2011 has just passed and the village of Wang Chuang in Qintiang County is coming to life. Every year at this time, the locals begin practicing their drum routine in preparation to welcome in the new year. The famous big drums of Jiangzhou originated in the Tang Dynasty. The drummers use every part of the drum to produce different tones, resulting in a rich and powerful performance. Excitement is building up as the new year approaches. Markets are busy preparing for the crowds coming to buy supplies for the Chinese New Year. Meanwhile, every household is redecorating their own big drums. Beating the big drums to welcome in the new year is a very old tradition in the Jiangzhou area. The directors of the 2012 CCTV Spring Festival Gala became interested in this tradition. Chai Li Feng, leader of the Jiangzhou Drum Corps, quickly went to Beijing after receiving a request. With great joy and pride, he demonstrated the rhythm and techniques of the big drums of Jiangzhou for the directors. To his surprise, the directors showed him a video clip of a Western drum performance. Watching this strange performance, Chai soon realized their intentions, which made him feel rather uncomfortable. <笑>这种电脑 In the end, Tai Li Feng decided to try a whole new approach to their performance. Several days later, Tai returned home and his troop began practicing the new techniques. The big drums of Jiangzhou came to the CCTV Spring Festival Gala once in 2006, but didn't perform. <laughs> 怎么说呢,就说是心里面有一种什么想法,就是哎呀这个穿我太难受了,太难受了,所以就是如果下次再有这种想穿我的机会的话,一定要自己想把自己抓住,再也不要像刘俊元那样,再给刷瞎了就
This is the first time the all-new interpretation of their traditional performance style will be seen on the stage of the CCTV Spring Festival Gala. After a six-year wait, the big drums of Jiang Zhou finally get their big break. the Jiang Zhou drum corps were heading for Beijing, Li Hongwan was in a U.S. recording studio, busy rehearsing for his performance in the CCTV Spring Festival Gala for the Year of the Dragon. He's going to sing Descendants of the Dragon, a song familiar to overseas Chinese. Wang was born in the Year of the Dragon. He's injecting the latest musical styles and techniques into the song to give a new interpretation and in his own style for this show. Chi 哪里？我我觉得都可以达到人心。大家一起合唱这首歌，我们都是都是好像一家人一样。It's been all of 27 years since Descendants of the Dragon was first heard on the stage of the CCTV Spring Festival Gala. Although it's been a long time, this song has remained popular with Chinese people in China and abroad. A Chinese American singer, Dr. Daniel Wong, sang Descendants of the Dragon in the 1985 show. Since 1985, every time Dr. Daniel Wang has been to Beijing, he's visited his friend Mr. Tang Shubei. Dr. Wang is the first U.S. mayor of Chinese descent, and Mr. Tang was the former Chinese consul general in L.A. Their friendship began in the summer of 1984. When they first met, Mr. Tang suggested that he should visit China during the Chinese New Year. 大陆开放了 
When he arrived in Beijing in early 1985, the crew of the CCTV Spring Festival Gala told Dr. Wong that he was invited to sing Descendants of the Dragon in the show, but he couldn't speak Mandarin. When Dr. Wang sang Descendants of the Dragon in the 1985 CCTV Spring Festival Gala, he became the first Chinese-American to grace the show. He didn't realize that this show would bring about an unexpected change in his life. After the CCTV Spring Festival Gala, he received invitations to sing from 16 Chinese provinces and cities, and that's when he learned to speak Chinese. This is the Chinese Art Museum of China, Lin Yifang. He is a Chinese actor. Every year since 1984, performers from Hong Kong, Macau and Taiwan, as well as people of Chinese descent from all over the world, have been invited to participate in the CCTV Spring Festival Gala and to welcome in the new year. The show brings Chinese people from all over the world together to experience the feeling of belonging to one nation. Oh, oh, we do Every year, CCTV invites overseas Chinese to come to Beijing to be in the program so that they can truly feel the warmth of their motherland. More and more overseas Chinese are learning about the changes taking place in China through CCTV's international channel. And the Chinese New Year and the CCTV Spring Festival Gala have become the shared link between Chinese people at home and abroad.春节就是一个团年的是很大的一件事情那春晚也就是春节里面最大的事情没有春晚的话我们就感觉到生活里缺了什么每一次将近到了春晚的直播的时候那很紧张有时候在工作的时候宁可就丢掉工作赶快回来
带到了我们居住的世界各地，对吧？喜羊羊会带给我们不过大家欢呼你。<笑> In the first few days of 2012, the media center held a special gathering. The gathering was the idea of Huang Yi He, head director of the first CCTV Spring Festival Gala in 1983. The ties of friendship still run deep, even after being apart for so many years. A greeting and a hug brings back the memories and the feelings that were planted 30 years ago. <laughs> All the veteran artists at the gathering participated in the 1983 and the 1984 CCTV Spring Festival Gala. Though the last 30 years have left their mark, they're still young at heart. Laughter, songs, applause and tears from every year at the CCTV Spring Festival Gala have become unforgettable. Thank When they again see the list of acts for the 1983 CCTV Spring Festival Gala, 30 years on, memories of the past come flooding back. That program was the crystallization of the feelings and emotions of the era and is a record of the earliest form of Chinese TV variety show. We have now entered the Chinese traditional year of the dragon and the curtain has closed on the 2012 CCTV Spring Festival Gala. It's been a full 30 years since Chinese families saw the first CCTV Spring Festival Gala. A few generations have grown up watching the CCTV Spring Festival Gala. These shows have given a great deal of joy and stories to tell. This is a TV program that cannot be evaluated by numbers. The CCTV Spring Festival Gala, which carries the love and collective memories of every Chinese person for family and country, has become a precious video album of the era.